So, boss, now can you tell us why we're here? Has anyone here heard about Gorky 17? Wasn't it a secret spy training facility operated by the Russians? It, it was shut down last year, no? Secret, yes. Spies, no. Gorky 17 housed military experiments. One year ago, the Soviets bombed it off the face of the Earth. No one knows why. If no one knows, why do we care? As you know, this town has been placed under military quarantine. We've told the press that terrorists have struck here with smallpox. Well, this isn't exactly true. We don't know what is happening. General Gordon Lamar, chief of this operation, has information that whatever happened at Gorky 17 is happening here. Unfortunately, his first strike team wasn't able to confirm this, and we've lost contact with them. Where do we fit in? Our orders are simple. First, find any remaining members of Group 1. Second, Lamar's informant described a laboratory within the city. We are to find and secure the site. Everyone clear? We oui, I'm ready. Ovitz, are you clear? Crystal clear. I'm ready, boss. Oh yes, one last thing. I'd prefer if we survive. For such a mission, it is too bad we aren't experienced soldiers. Wait, we are. Sometimes experience isn't enough. Oh my god! What the hell is this? I told you, expect anything. Enough talking, let's go. over here. I found what's left of Group 1. This is, was, Leif Sorensen. One of the best computer specialists in NATO. I recognize this man. He was Giancarlo Trotti, part of the Italian Special Forces attached to NATO. This man was like a rock. You could put a live grenade in his pocket and he wouldn't even break a sweat. Yeah, well, he sure looks calm now, doesn't he? Watch it, Ovitz. This was my friend that you're talking about. Relax, Trunkin. Can't you take joke? 
Knock it off, both of you. We don't have time to deal with your nonsense. Take a look at their bodies. There's something very wrong with them. Good God! That smell! And their skin! They're green! I don't like this. I have seen dead men. This is not normal death. This death reeks of evil. Enough of that, Ovitz. I don't need a paranoid team. If a guy like Trotty, with all his combat experience, died this way, we'd better stay alert. All right, then listen up. Group one had four members. We still have two missing, Joan McFadden, the team doctor, and Joseph Sashman, an English commando. I want to find them, alive. I don't know if you get your wish, boss. Something tells me this city doesn't like the living. All the more reason to hurry. Keep your eyes open. They could be hiding anywhere. They'll be hoping we can help get them out of here. Great, boss. And who helps us get out of here? Captain, I don't like this. Why weren't we briefed on this? It's worse than I fear. Hey, you two! How about you concentrate and fight?
bigger. Don't get too close. Great advice, boss.
It's a trap! Watch your backs. There's gotta be a way out. Or we stay and kill them. I like to kill him. You'll get us killed, Ovid! Oh, one is dying. Not again.
Don't shoot me. I am human. Hold it. Who are you and what are you doing here? My name is Vasily Dubrovsky. I am a Russian army veteran, but I decided to stay in Poland after the troops went home. Are you Americans? Not exactly. I'm Polish, and I don't like Russians. We're part of a NATO combat unit. How did you manage to survive here? I do not know. It is so strange, so horrible. My friends and neighbors, they have changed, they turned, and they become almost monsters. You can drop those hands. Do you mean to tell me that all those creatures were humans? Those creatures, I, I knew some of them. Five, ten years. Now they are no longer human. They hunt me like, like food. I lock myself in my apartment. Soon they come for me. Two come for me through my window. I, I, I think I must die. Then the window is clear again and I hear screams. And down on the street, I see two men fighting with... Don't worry, we don't scare so easy. Uh, you think I am crazy, but I think what attacked them is invisible monster. It was like the men were fighting thin air. Then their skin turns green and, and, and they drop onto the ground. Were they wearing uniforms? Like us? How many men have you seen all together? Yes, just like you. I think the men come from the sewers. I see them come out from the old Russian security doors. A true door is sewers. Look, you have guns. You, you protect me. Hmm? You stick with us and we'll do what we can. Just stay quiet and out of our way. Uh, one last thing. Did you see a woman with those men? No, only those two. And now you. All right, let's move out. Uh, you are interested in those men? That's right. I find this on them. On, on your bodies. You were searching through the body? No, 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 no. I search for food. I must have food to live, yes. And a gun, too, I, I hope. But please, here, here is the note. Hmm. I don't understand it. I think this is Russian. Ovitz, you can try. Okay. It says, uh... Kosov knows everything. He cares nothing for these people, but I do. If I can protect the Matrix discs, I might reverse this nightmare, but Kosov will destroy the discs if he finds them. He would do anything to protect his secret. I have hidden the discs, one in the port, one near the monuments, two in the city center. I will try tonight to gather them and return to the lab, but Kosov has asked to meet with me this afternoon. I fear I shall not return. The note is not signed. Do you think this could be real? Mix four discs with one lab? Add horror? We could be cooking, yes? I didn't ask for any comment, Ovitz. Two men died for this note. I just hope it isn't some kind of joke. Listen up, team. I want answers. If the discs have answers, then I want those discs. Okay, let's go. Two members of Team One might still be alive. Oh no! Damn devils! Just stay back. We can hold them off. And stay away from those barrels. I think that's gasoline. 